better fish. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our episode. My name is Sam Sobey. Um, today's Tournament Tuesday. You're probably watching this either on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, all summer long, I fish some of my best buddies in a local tournament trail, and um, it's stiff competition. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some hammers every single week, and uh, this week, this week above all weeks, is um, potentially the most anticipated Tournament Tuesday for my partner Adam and myself. Uh, there's mega bags on this lake. We're returning to the same lake, I think, five Tuesdays ago that we actually took first at and um, it's gonna be incredible. So we really need to bring our A game. We need to pull big fish and um, we probably could use a little luck. So I don't know what else to say, but stay tuned, strap in, you won't be pissed. Alrighty folks, welcome back to another Tourney Tuesday. I am back, it's been a while. Um, Sobe and Brock have done all right holding it down. They got really infatuated with fifth place this year while I was gone. Uh, but today we're back on, I think, this is the lake we won our first one on this year. This lake's capable of mega bags. I think they're gonna chew today, but we'll have to see. Um, it's gonna be interesting, I'm really excited. I always love when we're out here. It's gonna be a really good time. Alrighty, we're just hanging out, rigging our rods here, and um, we got a little bit of time to talk to you. I haven't done a good job all year long, I guess, telling you where we've been standing in like the points race. So, out of all these guys here, every single tournament, when you finish, you get a certain amount of points, and you want low points. So, if you get first, you get one. If you get second, you get two. At the end of the year, whoever is the least amount of points, um, obviously won like Angler of the Year, like the best score averaged out. And I think right now, we're either in second or third. Our buddy Paul, he's got first right now, and Paul's like our good frenemy. He's like our good pal. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him on a couple different lakes, and um, that's that's the same guy that Adam actually got in the argument with. So it's it's gonna be a good night. I got the feeling that um, Paul's gonna be fishing the same stuff we are. We're gonna be fishing the same stuff Paul is. And uh, yeah, it could get greasy. So that's why we come out here. That's why we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these hammers. It's, um, uh, it's to bring home the gold. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. I'm pumped. Like I said, I think we're in second or third. So if we had a really awesome night and if Paul stumbled, that, um, that might be good for us. So top five teams at the end of the year go to like a championship where it's just the top five boats. And uh, that's, that, that's what we really wanna get into. If we can get into that championship, that'd be sick. But until then, let's uh, take one Tuesday at a time. Let's, let's take tonight by the horns and just... Nobody All right, what boat are we tonight? We are boat seven, and Ooh. these fish like to sit on like four spots this time of year, so that's a slight problem. Oh, it's go time. I don't know which spot we're going to All right, life jacket's off. Spot numero uno. Well, we got my second choice. <laughs> Did I lose my hat and all that? Did you? No way, did I really? Didn't even notice it fly off. It fly underneath my butt? I was sitting on it. What? I think in all that commotion I lost my lucky hat. <laughs> Alrighty, spot number one. I'm starting out with my all-time favorite bait, especially for this lake. Uh, All-terrain tackle, mighty head jig, and a jig worm, just a little ribbon tail worm. Adam's up front, I think just dragging a big old jig. And I'm just gonna drag this sucker out the back using 10 pound fluorocarbon to 10 pound braided line. And yeah, let's let's get it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> Should I put him in the well or no? Yeah, he might as well. Never know. All right, fish number one, just a little thinker. I don't think this one will go. Change. Spot change. Adam's on. Adam's on. First cast in the second spot. Adam is hooked up. Got a babe. Big girl too. Where's she at? She's fighting. She didn't pull any drag yet, which has me a little worried, but. Well, that's a good fish. She don't jump. I have a hook. Terrible. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. That's a good fish. That a babe. Fish number. That'll do. Get right back out there. I can go on the big side. Oh, same cat. Right back out there. That a babe. Adam just hooked a nice one. First cast, second spot. That's a good sign. That helps. That helps. It's like a three pounder, bro. Nice. Nice. Give me some of that. That babe. Jig worm city. Turn. Adam's on. You're on. Adam's on. Babe. That a babe. Aren't you pulling any drag?
How's it feel? Big. Oh. Bigger than the first one. Really? Yeah. Do you want me to try to keep this on the same spot or it doesn't matter? No. Get back there. It was right where that other one was. You ready? Yeah. It's coming up. Oh, that a baby. Not as big. Oh, he still helps. That's a good fish. That a baby. Nice job. Jigworm City, boys. Adam, you're on him tonight. Get right back out there. Quality, quality fish. Had a babe. Put him over on the big side. Spot number two is blessing us much better than spot number one. Even though you caught those on jig rooms, I'm throwing drop shot out there. Give him another look. We got Super City over here. Adam's on again. Oh my gosh. Net? I'm leaving my line out there. Oh, that's not a bad fish. Son of a gun, I'm getting my butt whooped, but that's why it's one team, one dream, boys. Get this sucker in the net. You ready? Yeah. Bring him to me. Oh. A little more line out than I thought there was. It's all good. It's all good. All right, now good. Bring old girl to me. That a babe. Consistency. Two pounder. Choked it. Choked it. Nice. Two pounder. All right, that's four. That happened quick. Fish on. I think it's small. Number five though, on the small side. All right, limit's a limit, That that's nice. As soon as you get five in the boat, it's just like, okay. Now we just upgrade, now we ride. All right, we got five. Spot number two is much better. Um, I still feel pretty dang naked without my lucky hat on, but um, yeah, spot two, definitely better than spot one. So we might return here later in the evening. Um, this usually goes off right when the sun's going down, so we'll definitely be back. But for now, I think we're just gonna play Ring Around the Rosie and um, uh, yeah, just hop some more deep weed lines and some rock piles. So. Spot change. Fish on. Where's your mother? Fish on. Better fish, I think. Better fish. He just bit super hard. He might call. He freaking torqued it, dude. Too small, too small. Fish on. Good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish, 100%. Feels like he's in bad weeds. What type of drag? If this is a bass, it's good. It kind of doesn't feel like a bass. It's probably a bass. This is a bass, it's a good fish, bro. Overdo it with your homework. <laughs> fish on. That one feels a little better. I don't know. That's a better fish. Stay on. Stay on. He's still on. It's a good fish. Yeah, he'll help, he'll help. Chuck back in there, they're definitely fired up. Eight forty-five. We are back, right on the nuts. Um, we've got four decent fish, no big ones. Like we don't have any four pounders tonight. We got one squeaker, and um, I had on our fifth fish. Definitely, I lost a big one, just wrapped up in the weeds, big time on light line on the drop shot, and that one's gonna haunt me. That's the one that you wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night having deja vu about some crazy dream. Oh. Fished hard though. This lake definitely didn't put out, at least not for us. So 
I'm interested to see what everybody else has because it just seemed like there wasn't just the quality bites all around were not there. Not even a lot of like two pounders, two and a half pounders. So it was weird. I don't know. We'll we'll weigh these fish and see what we got. What do you think? I think the lake was really off, so my early judgment was very bad. But I don't know, we'll see. Someone probably whacked 18, 20 pounds. Always happens out here, it just wasn't us today. Decent. Uh, we couldn't really do much else, to be honest. Uh, the guy who won, Paul, Paul, sat on one spot the whole night. Dirty so Paul. Couldn't even fish it, but hey, Paul's a hammer. It's a good spot, and he put them all in the boat. All right, Tournament Tuesday is wrapped up. Um, we weighed in just under 13 pounds. Uh, like Adam said, we had four decent fish, none over four, and then the one squeaker. Um, the one that I lost definitely hurts like it hurts so bad um it was wrapped in the weeds i don't know if there's anything i could have done maybe i just should have held him there we could have went up to him I, either way um what do, we, what do you think we got fourth or fifth yeah the, the usual the usual fourth or fifth yeah so it's really cool like adam said the guy that won actually won on the same spot we won it on earlier in the year which is crazy just because it's like totally different times of year fish are doing different things but um those high percentage spots they um uh, they hold the big fish so really cool thing so the day started off with us running to spot number one and I lost my lucky hat and I just felt naked all day. I was fishing without my lucky hat. And later in the evening, now here at the ramp, I met some homies and I don't got a lucky hat anymore, but I have now new lucky bait. So come on in here, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Kyle Malka. I'm gonna be a senior here at New Prague High School. Very cool. And I'm gonna be Tyson Borgen. I am actually going to New Prague as well. Very so. cool. So these guys are from my same hometown, the same high school, which is super cool. They came out here to the winds. They were fishing out here today and they actually make their own baits. But like, here's the difference. I make my own baits too, but I like, I don't know what I'm doing and I suck at it. These guys are dialed. Look at these. Gorgeous drop shot baits. So I don't know the next time I'm going to be bass fishing because I got a little trip here planned, but the next time I go, I'm definitely putting these suckers to the test. They're stinky, dude. Yeah. Okay, so this is his company, Bite Master Tackle Company. Make sure to go follow him. Do you guys have Instagram yeah, and Facebook? Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, and then we also have a website, BiteMasterTackleCo.com. I'll link it all down below. Make sure you go check out his homemade plastic baits. Seriously, these are stanky. They're awesome baits, and I'm, I'm excited to try them out. So I'm going to do a full bait review on these um, probably within the next week. So thank you guys so much again yeah, for thanks. coming out. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much for fishing this tournament with me. And um, this thing, my yeah. mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are, are crazy, guys. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna probably head out of here. But thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. Um, I guess there's enough left to be said. And stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See ya.